Okay, I thought I'd do something different here tonight. I'll sit back so I'm actually in frame. I just packed the bowl of Cornell and Deal black gold maple, smoking it in the Egra Bruyere, which is a nice aromatic pipe. I don't really mind too much, but anyway, this is going to be brief. I've got my hand forged nail as a tamper, came prepared. And I just charred that off. Mm. Straight out of the pouch. Charred nicely. Hmm. That's bordering on even being aromatic. There's a hint of maple. Anyway, that's that's not the point. <coughs> just a few first impressions. I got a few um, samples shipped in today, so I thought I'd just um, do one of those unboxing sort of videos, you know, where somebody gloats over their possessions. <laughs> no, I'm, I've actually got quite a few here to sample so I can make more annoying review videos, but I've been chasing them for a while. I've got some Cornell and Deal Red Virginia Ribbon. Oh yeah, here you go. Here's, here's, here's how we receive our tobacco in Australia. It's a lovely packaging. Luckily, cigar smoking is not a safe alternative. I, I don't know what to, I mean, whatever. But this ribbon, mmm. Nice. A bit vinegary. I don't know what else to say. I got some Samuel Gorwith. Best brown flake. I mean, look at that packaging. That's classic. You'd swear you could have just picked this up down the pub or something. Anyway, yeah, that's just a 10 gram sample. I've got a few pipes of that. I, th I think I had this once before. I, I thought I'd smoke the full Virginia flake, but this looks the same. But it has a, certainly has an interesting aroma anyway. There's a I don't know if it's that Lakeland aroma, but there's definitely a floral note there. Oh, I've splashed out on a full 50 grams of the black gold maple one. I found some of these aromatics to be good in blends. Um, and this one sounded sort of intriguing, and I'm sick of running out of tobacco, and I knew I'd probably like it. I think it's, I think the Green River Vanilla I prefer, but I mean, this is the first I've smoked it. I wouldn't say it's sweet, it's got a little bit of bitterness. But nice smoke production, it's it's actually I said to me it's it's only just an aromatic, I guess maple. Oh, I got some Peter Stockerby. Peter Stockerby. Peter Stockerby. Uh, Danish tobacco, the nougat. Which isn't nougat at all, I guess vanilla and it smells a bit like Almonds, walnut, the lighting's not adequate. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to smoking some of that, even a bit, definitely a raisin, uh, a bit more of a sultana aroma to that. Um, what else did I get? Virginia. Yeah, I got 20 grams of those other two. And I also managed to get my hands on a, a tin of Peterson or what was Dunhill, my mixture 965, I, it, it's it's so rare to receive a tobacco package like this that isn't covered in olive drab health warnings and whatnot. So I haven't even opened it yet, it's still vacuum sealed. I was running a bit low on English mixtures and I'd always wanted to try that and I missed out when Dunhill went out of production. So I thought I'll jump on that now. Um, I think I'll find that quite appealing too. Uh, 
I'm not even picking a lot of maple or anything on the room, mate. I mean, look at that. It's smoking like a chimney. It's... It's even... Perfectly smokable from the pouch. Nowhere near as moist as the other black Cavendish, but it does have some red Virginia in it. Um, well, I guess that's really all I wanted to say. I wanted to keep this short, 5.42. Keep it under 10 minutes at the very least. Um, because I probably won't post anything for a little while. And what content I do post will most likely... Yeah, I'll be somewhat pipe related, but probably more boating, sailing, fishing, uh, camping. <laughs> Sounds like a lifestyle program. But I'm going to enjoy this. I'm not going to do any philosophizing because I'm not capable of it. But having said that, yeah, it's been a long week for me. I've been flat out, I've been cutting grass pretty much all week, digging holes in rocks, and I'm um, just on the verge of doing the final preparations for this trip to Fraser Island, and uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So you guys enjoy, and I'll see you soon.